How you doing everyone? Welcome back to my vanilla Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode 123 and we're kind of coming to a close with this season 3 and um, we're just kind of having a bit of a tour of what's been going on and what's, you know, special points of interest I guess. So today's episode we're going to have a quick look at the Iron Titan and we're also going to look at one of the players um, that's quite close to here, um, Farm. So. This is the Iron Titan, this is what causes it, well it's broken now actually, because um, it kind of was out of chunk, it's broken, out of order look, rebuild doors, the doors are broken, but um, we've got a fair amount of iron still, maybe, yeah there we go, loads of iron still, the rest of, anything before this has been actually raided, but as you can see, totally chock a block of iron, all the iron that you could ever want, pretty cool. It does still work from time to time, but very, very, very rarely. And while we're close to here, we're going to go to the slime farm, which is okay. It, it kind of didn't really work. Um, this is just back here. This is the slime farm portal. And yeah, it, it didn't really work very well. It does work, but not not great. Oh, I look down in the bottom chests, not those ones. Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> great. Um, yeah, but there was slime. There's there's like I think there was like three or four slime chunks here. Like all that all that area of slime chunks. I think there was four slime chunks in in like next to each other. So that's why I chose to build here. And there's the kind of like a a lava. A lava thing going on down there, which kind of breaks them up and puts them in the in the pot. There is golems kicking around. Uh, sorry, yeah, iron golems kicking around somewhere. There you go in that window there. Can you see? I might as well break this because it's only a copy of the map. So the iron golems kind of lure them to the, to the kill kill bits down there. We might be lucky to see one, but we won't. And it's all made out of iron because courtesy of the iron titan. So that's why there's so much iron here. And then we go up multiple floors to each floor so we can see each floor. Pretty cool, huh? And the sea lanterns from the um, Guardian farm. Nice. I love the sea lanterns. They're, they're one of the best light blocks in, in the game. So yeah, that's that's the slime farm. Not a lot happening. It's, it's pretty... It was pretty rubbish, to be honest. It didn't really... It wasn't as, ef as, as efficient as I would like. I think it's because it's just unloaded all the time. So, you know, we can't have chunk load. There's no chunk loaders in vanilla, so to speak. Well, I think there is. There's a way of doing it, but it's just a, it's just hard work. So, yeah, that's that's that. So, this episode, we're going to focus on one of the players' builds. He, he was hammering the game for a while. His name's Tholin69, and I need to find his portal. And I think it's down here. And up the stairs. So we're going to focus on this um, castle burn, burning, burning stone. Should be burning stone, I think. And I have a bit of food. We're just going to literally just take a tour of his place and probably even go into spectator mode so we can actually see his place from like high up because it's pretty impressive, guys. This guy has grinded this map like mad and what he he doesn't do things by half he builds big and he 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 dedicates himself to it which is there's built there's like there's things like this this is why i wanted to keep the map i really wanted to keep the map but it's just not going to happen um there is a way that we can keep the map and we can use mc edit and we just use the same seed and just kind of copy and paste so guys if you those that are on the server, if you want me to, I can always use the same seed and just copy and paste bases because this is a lot to lose. And let's just go into game mode three and just take the tour, have a little fly around. This is a lot to lose. I mean, this can easily be put into a 1.3 map and hopefully that will work. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm just speculating here and copy and paste the chunks. Um, but then if we get a new map anyway, it's it's not going to be. It's it's going to be a while before we change. So as you can see, he's got like all these buildings kicking around. 
and he's got like the that glass horde thing. That's good. Look at that World of Warcraft horde symbol thing. I don't know actually the actual word for it, but uh, yeah, he started on these. Look at these. He's got the uh, dragon heads here. I think he was starting to cover them in uh, quartz. But yeah, I mean, it is possible to, it might be possible to MC edit into the new 1.13 map. It will take some time, but at least everyone's still got their stuff. But I think players just want a fresh map. And they don't mind starting again as long as we keep the map as long as possible. So let's look at all this. We've got the towers going up. Um, we've got these houses and that inside. Loads of farm animals. He's literally got it made. He's literally proper set up. It looks cool. And let's have a look over here. Oh yeah, the chorus chorus farm. Oh, this was his first chorus farm because he wanted the um the blocks. Over here we got a ton of animals. <laughs> a ton. Look how much work's gone into this. It's just a shame that. I, I can save the map, that's the thing, but players have chosen not to, I think. So we look under here in spectator mode. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we go down here, he's got his... Um, this is the chorus plant farm, which is automated. He's got pixel art in here, so there's a dragon up there. <laughs> a minion, an R2-D2. That's cool. So cool. Such a good builder. I always like watching his, watch or seeing his work. So do not press before, before. Yeah. So I think what we do. I can't remember how this works. This farm. But we break that down. I think we just press it. There we go. Yes, it. The water comes down. And I think that minecart shoots off. Yeah, that's it. So that minecart's now gone and to collect it. As you can see, it's all disappearing. Look. That's the minecart doing its stuff. And then I think it comes back up here and drops it in the chest here. Or down here, maybe. I think he's piping it into there. So it's back. There you go. It's going somewhere. Yeah, so he's yeah he's set it up so it cooks automatically straight away. That's pretty cool, right? Not bad. But we can get into his castle. There's he had a skelly spawner here somewhere as well. Um, what was I going to look at? Oh, he's got this. We've got little little villagers kicking around up here, doing a lot of trading. Um, this is inside the the horde thing. Look at this. I really want there's there's things like this is where I want to save the map. I really wanted to save the map personally, but at the same time, a new a new start is always good. So he's got the towers here, and he's got all his stuff in there. Look at this. Just look at this. Multiple floors, all decorated and jam-packed full of all the stuff he needs to get get by. I mean, look at this. Little flower pot on the tables. Pretty cool, isn't it? The bed. Is that the bed with the heads? That's cool. Is there another? No, the, tower, the other tower is this way. Yeah, we've just been in this one. Villages. So yeah, let's quickly go time time set date. It it's it's sad to see things like this go. It looking back when you like I said last episode, it's it's time it's times like this you you don't want to let maps go, but it's always nice to have a fresh start. And yes, yeah, a shame that this has to go. 
Um, might as well just show you guys another base. See what um, Hershey's been up to. Right near an ocean monument look, as well. This is like a big dirt path to Hershey's house. Quite a few block, few blocks away. Um, Hershey was um, actually on the server for a while. As you can see, she's got like a little farms up here. It's pretty cool. Oh wow, she's got skeleton horses and chickens and donkeys. Oh, yeah, the um, ice path, so she can get like whiz that way. That's cool. The portal. Oh, what's going on up here? Little little area for enchanting. Her house. She spent a bit of time on here, I tell you. I like that colour colour the the colour pattern there. It's very nice. Sea lanterns. Little cooking area. Is there anything under here? No, she had a mine shaft underneath her house as well. Nice. That's really cool. She actually she's actually done more than I expect I, I thought. That's cool. Some sugar cane stuff going on down there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of small smaller builds, smaller areas before I quit. And then we'll call it for this episode. So I just need to get get my bearings it's probably about here go back to castle burning stone look at that in all its glory let's just take a, a, a shot of that there we go and um, there's a couple of islands kind of kicking out here somewhere that players were building on germ rage this is early, early stuff. He never actually finished, but when he was he was on here for a very short period of time and never came back. And he had from the previous maps he, he had he had some really good builds and I would have liked to have seen this completed. This would have been really cool. Germ Rage he, he's he hasn't been on for a while. Where's all the islands? Get my bearings. I think over here? Maybe. Oh no. Um, I'm trying to pinpoint where people are. No. Nope. I'm pretty sure some islands kicking around here. No, this is my island, isn't it? Near my island. So there's my island. Yeah, so we go this way. Past the monument. This was Josh 15 Drummer's place for a while. Hold on a minute. I don't remember that being there. I remember this. Oh yeah, I do. I remember that, I think. Vaguely. Josh 15 Drummer was here for a, for a while. Josh 15 Drummer, look. There we go. Over here, Edgy Far. And um, Zombie Killer, I think, Jordan, lives here. As you can see, he's got, like, a sensors on the top, and then they light up at night. I don't think that got finished. But he had skeleton spawners, which will break in the next update anyway. He has his little skeleton spawner down here. And he's also got um, a zombie one over here. The zombie one. Didn't finish that one. It's so Edgy Far's house. As you can see, he's got his little house up here. It's not a bad little house. It's actually quite a cool little house for Edgy Far. If we go this way, this is where Jordan lives. Our zombie killer. Mob grinder. I think, and I'm definitely going to wrap up this bit here. Oh, 
Oh, these are the the castle ruin thing. These are dungeons we were added. We added. Um, quickly show you. There you go. They're the dungeons we added um, later on when we got a bit bored. MC Dungeon, it's called. I need to find the right area though. I don't think I'm. Oh, it's this way a bit more. I remembers. Um, yeah, we got a bit bored, so we added dungeons to the map. Here we go. Snowed in. <laughs> nice. So Sam, Commander 5AM, and Claire DJC333 was here for a while. Dibson, Dibson gift box, and Doggo found. Okay, some heads, grill bees. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, never really got finished. I would have liked to have seen how this this went. This was it started and never finished. But guys, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna call it here. So um, let me just uh, say goodbye. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. Um, I'm pretty much gonna. I know where I'm roughly going, um, but um, and then the final episode we'll have a look at the shops and all the extra things that we added just to kind of spice up the map. I think that can be the final one because um, we added a few different things um, to our map to make sure that we can have a little bit of fun and keep the game balanced, I guess. But um, yeah, like the dungeons. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.